three pick. <laughs> He's getting top three. So I am wishing the best of luck to Peckham. This is going to be a difficult battle, especially with the, the track record that a bit man possesses. Yeah. Definitely a whole lot of wins under Ape and Man's belt. But Peckham is certainly not anything to sneeze at. This is a competitor that has taken out a lot of big names in this tournament alone, so I wouldn't be surprised if we have a heck of a match right here with DLC Special on deck. Man. Right, and so far, not great for Peckham, but Min Min does have a lot of horsepower under the hood with the Megawatt, and we're starting to see that come out a little bit right now. Megawatt Nair is so goofy. Like, that move just seems like it's almost safe on shield, and Rob doesn't have the best out-of-shield options when he doesn't have Gyro in his hands. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a character that has a lot of trouble punishing that. Yeah, I mean, already we're starting to see the tide shift just by Megawatt being out for a little bit. Yeah, you mentioned it, it came out, and then all of a sudden, Peckham just started doing damage. Yeah. Ooh, I like that LB. Get out of dodge. Next. Not able to take the stock quite yet. Oh, no, you actually... So how do you get around that? Ape Man just spun an edge, and Peckham had no option. The linear recovery with Min Min's up B just couldn't do anything to get through that barrage from Rob, but taking the stock immediately with a Megamot Aerial. I think that was the dragon's fire. Was that I, dragon? I yeah, I blinked for a quick second, but yeah. Right. Peckham now has my respect. Peckham went full cheese in stock two, just the back throw into the charge dragon's fire, trying to get the stock at zero. Mad respect. We gotta go for those. I didn't, I didn't know we had to do that. You gotta vibe check your opponent at least once. Make sure that they're playing honest. Make sure that <laughs> like they know what's coming. <laughs> just the, that's the do you know? Ah, oh, he knows, he knows, we good. Yeah. Speaking of do you know, 8-Bit Man seems to know everything Peckham wants to do. Fifth, it felt like five or six different attacks came out, but Peckham was never in a position to actually be able to punish 8-Bit for it. Oh, speaking of punish that, back you're gonna connect, take that stock, and this stock dropped a lot earlier in comparison to the percent that 8-Bit has. Only at 55, very healthy at the moment. Peckham oh, kind of adopting uh, the, the jump in there option, if you will. It seems to be working bit by bit, though. Oh, punches. It's just so meaty every time Megawatt hits. And you still have Gyro in your hand. Interesting. Oh, wait. That's something I didn't even consider, but that makes a lot of sense. So, like, when you use, like, your B button for smash attacks, like, yeah. do you just hold on to Gyro? Yeah, because it's not an A move. Good huh. job. Sakurai designed a character that can mash so well, it can't be stopped, literally. That's amazing. I never even put those dots together. Speaking of putting dots together, Peck, I'm seeing something that I'm not, because mm. these dots are coming together beautifully. This damage took the lead as well. Oh, that grab missed. I, I cannot believe that Rob wasn't able to grab that shield from there. And I think Ape is starting to catch on a little bit to the jump habit of Peckham. Noticing a lot of times the lasers coming out of Gyro or an up air, just something to punish, you know, Peckham for jumping. Mega Watts out again, though. Yeah, this is an even game. Just about any move can send either character into a terrible spot at edge. Both of these characters punish each other so hard when you're off stage. Oh no. I was to say you can't recover above. Like, you're just going to attack by an up air. And, oh! Whoa! Coast coast. Coming up from the ledge, swaying him. Wow. Not what I expected. Coast to the coast death right there. Yeah, I mean, not what Ape expected either. Like, to be honest, I got hit. Like, <laughs> I definitely got hit by that. Same. Min Min's got some punch. Like, it, it felt like throughout that match, Ape Man was doing a really good job of controlling neutral and just occupying space. But the second that Peckham got Ape in disadvantage, it was over in like two or three hits. Yeah. And what was so devastating about that final blow is very rarely is there a character that can kill you 
from the ledge. You know, normally, oh, I messed up, I got hit, but you're not normally dying for it. And that's just, how terrifying is it to know that when you have your opponent on the ledge, you actually may not have an advantage. You still have to respect them more than they may have to potentially respect you. Yeah, like, just, it throws off your entire risk assessment. And on a big stage, too, like Talon, like, this isn't as if you're getting janked off the top on Yoshi's. This is putting you on notice that you have to worry about this every second of every game, because it's only going to get worse if you do small stages. Yeah. And we're also still in, you know, best two out of three um, territory. So this all matters so much. Yeah. And 8-Bit actually did fall into losers because they got DQ'd out of winners due to not checking in on time. So, like, losing once and being out of the tournament after, like, making one of the biggest losers runs possible. That stinks. And oh no, a bit of lag. But looks like we're leveling out again. Who's getting checked? Who's getting checked? Whoever loses this game, I guess. <laughs> or whoever wins this <laughs> Yeah, name a, uh, name a more accurate combo in Wi-Fi and lag salt. Yeah. It's like, yo, I only lost that because of the lag. Let me get that check there. <laughs> Easy. Easy money. Mm-hmm. All right, nice wave right there by Peckham. Yeah, you the major cool. adjustment that Peckham has made. Um, because uh, remember earlier when 8-Bit did that side B in the last game, and one of the questions was, how do you recover? Well, Peckham now is just waiting on the ledge. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to be able to recover. That's going to be so unfortunate. Are you going to take side B? No, because the gyro is going to hit it. Beautiful snipe coming in from 8-Bit. <laughs> OK. Good, bro. Did you see the electric on it? We're just a little extra umph on that one for some reason. Alright. I like it when Rob's use I'll smash out to get a lower percentage just because it's like the best punish available. These lasers are also wreaking havoc with Peckham's face and game plan. Every time she tries to get out of something like a tech chase situation or tries to roll away, just gets zapped by Ape Man, sees its stage control, and now off stage again with the rotor arms. In there as well. Terrifying side B. No, just gonna maintain that stage control, but wow, uh, excuse me? Footstool down air up smash, very unorthodox, but did work. Unfortunately, the stock still disappears when 8 bit finds that up smash out of shield. I feel like Peckham definitely felt like he was rushing that stock a bit. A lot of like small errors from positions that he put himself in, but like if they were executed right, they would have been like working out okay, maybe net neutral. But now I'm starting to see more restraint and it's working out pretty well. Especially now that you have the gyro in hand and the megawatt in the other hand. And 8 bit's doing a really good job of avoiding getting two frame too, because Peckham is setting up for just about every time with that disc from center stage, and not once have we seen 8 bit get tricked and lose a stock from that. Oh, the, you saw the audacity on that read. That's the that's the I'm trying to win the set move. Let me do this now because if I hit you with this, you know, we're just going to go into the next game and you're going to be devastated. Yeah. But that risk may have caught a bit. 51, 66, your lead is gone. That was one opening, one exchange. Your lead is gone. And we've seen how hard Min Min can hit. I've looked away for about five seconds and this happened. Well, don't look away again, or the match might be over. Yeah. Keep it trying for some platform shenanigans there, but Peckham absolutely not biting an iron defense from both competitors here, as they know that it just takes one tiny hit to get put into an awkward spot that could spell the end of the match, and 8-Bit oh lets my. it rip and barely oh misses. Oh, my. Oh, the what? That's it. From that far? The game, Peckham just beat 8-Bit. 2-0 in such an unorthodox way. As you said that far, you have to respect Min Min so much. But just I'm at the end, it really came down to just them kind of a scramble that neither person really fully got their footing, but it was really that last straight hit that did it in Min Min. Gonna advance in the bracket. 